Hey, this is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Live TV. Today, I got a special guest right here at Barry Barbell, and I got Jedediah Snelson with me, and it's Nelson with an S on the front. Snelson, get it right, Jedediah Snelson. And he's gonna be running Luke and I through a workout. He's gonna be doing a workout. So we're gonna learn a little bit about who Jedediah is and what he's gonna be doing with us today right here in our own gym. Yeah, uh, thanks, Chris. So yeah, a little bit about myself. Um, <clears throat> I've been in uh, sports forever. I was a motocross athlete, uh, racer, uh, raced dirt bikes um, for 17 years, uh, five professionally as a, I was compared to baseball, like as a minor league athlete, I was like a, a single A, double A ball player, kind of reached that level. Um, and then transitioned out of racing and actually got into uh, being a strength and conditioning sports, in, or a strength and conditioning coach in action sports. Um, I did that for 12 years, uh, four years at the highest level um, on the on what would be like the major leagues um, with some of the factory riders and then also worked with uh, some X Games athletes, um, some uh, snowmobile racers, some MMA fighters, um, just, you know, just basically lived in the action sports world. Um, then during that time I got married and uh, working in pro sports is generally not a, a good job conducive to a family and being a, right. a father. So I transitioned out of that, um, picked up racing kind of recreationally for my own um, mental health again. And that's when I had my accident that paralyzed me in uh, 2014. And um, <clears throat> from there, fortunately, I had the knowledge base that I did as far as like taking care of my body and stuff. And so was able to rebuild myself during that time I found CrossFit for adaptive athletes and um, yeah I did my first competition in 2015 and I was hooked. Um, and so what are some of the um, accomplishments in CrossFit that you got? So I've been fortunate I, I've been involved since the inception of the very first game adaptive games or, or our world championships back in 2016. Um, I, so I've been a six time a six times games athlete. Um, I've been to uh, uh, in that, I've uh, I've finished no no lower than second place, uh, second fittest in the world. Um, I'm currently the reigning fittest um, seated without hip function um, for 2021. So that's absolutely amazing, pretty <laughs> impressive. So I mean, is there? I mean, it seems like you're the best. Is there anywhere else you can go? Well, um, you know, it's one of those things. You know, when you when you reach the top, you've always got a target on your back, and you never know who's uh, who's going to take it. So you just kind of keep fighting for it. Um, but mainly, at my my position at this point is, you know, I love to compete. I've been competing for the last three years as a full time athlete. But my other role is, I'm really an ambassador for the sport um, to grow it, um, to help other athletes that want to get involved, um, to help just get the more um, information to more people about the sport because it is relatively new um, and whether they ever want to compete or not like the benefits of adaptive CrossFit are incredible like just the yeah. functional fitness and, and living day-to-day -day life just like an able body is huge. Yeah. Yeah, you've been an amazing uh, ambassador for this sport, uh, CrossFit just in general, and adaptive athletes, which um, is absolutely amazing. So could you like share a little bit, you know, you did have an accident, you got paralyzed in that accident. How have you managed to stay so positive and work through this and do what you've done? Uh, well, short answer, um, for me, my faith. God always has a plan. And I believe he has a plan for me in a wheelchair. And uh, I believe that plan has uh, been encompassing adaptive CrossFit and helping others. Um, and so, yeah, that was just my vision. I think the other important thing was I know myself. And I think the most important thing from when I had this accident was I'm a very competitive driven person. And so if I didn't have something to channel that competitiveness, like if I motocross was taken away from me and I didn't find something new, the world was going to be pretty bleak and ugly, but I was blessed enough that I found adaptive CrossFit. I have that to be able to channel that competitive drive and, uh, yeah, so it's 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 been a blessing. That's pretty cool. And just, you know, for somebody just wanting to get into this, into just being an athlete in a wheelchair, um, an adaptive athlete, could you just give us a little bit of um, about what type of chair they would be using or, um, you know, what they, what they should use other than just a regular chair? Absolutely. So the first thing I would say is if you're interested in, in getting involved in adaptive CrossFit, whether you know there's an actual wheelchair gym or not, um, just drop into any CrossFit box. 
Um, try multiple CrossFit boxes. For one, just like an able body, there's a box that will fit your personality better than others. There are some that are more accessible depending on like how old the warehouse space is they're in or, or you know, the industrial space as far as accessibility. Um, so check that out. But I would say don't be afraid to start in your regular chair. I started in my regular chair. You know, for a lot of us, um, especially if you've never done this stuff, the weight's gonna be pretty light. I started with an empty barbell when I first got going. And then um, as you build into it, there are now fitness chairs. Um, Performax, which is an American-based company, makes a great fitness chair. I'm actually excited I should get mine first. So I got involved before fitness chairs actually existed, right? So this is technically a modified basketball chair, which has a reinforced frame that helps with the, with the barbells, the anti-tippers and whatnot. But I'm excited that I'm actually, you know, have partnered with Performax where they're gonna get me an actual fitness chair that will have that same reinforced frame, but I won't have the, the off-camber wheels, which you don't really need for CrossFit. Um, it will still have the anti-tipper um, because as you build, you can get to a point to where it puts a lot of stress on your regular chair, especially as you get right. heavier barbells and stuff. And so don't be afraid to start, but once you kind of build into it, definitely want to look at some other fitness chair options. Very cool. Thanks for sharing that. Now you're going to be putting Luke and I through an EMOM. So we're going to be doing that and um, we're going to be watching you work out doing grace. So that's going to be pretty cool. And so um, an EMOM, for anybody that doesn't know, what is an EMOM? Yeah, so EMOM is, means every minute on the minute. So it's basically just a, uh, a style of a workout within CrossFit where you're gonna have a certain amount of load or reps for a workout. So today we're doing ski erg and sandbag. And so you'll have that amount of work to do within that minute. Um, and then if you get it done quicker, you have that rest until the next minute. Um, or if it takes you the full minute, you'll just go right into that next. So every, you start at the top of every minute with your next set of reps. And uh, yeah, you kind of, in, in the way it's set up, you build your own rest or you, you, you can choose to build your own yeah. rest depending on how yeah. hard you go. Yep, cool. <laughs> so we're gonna watch you lift some heavy weights. Luke and I are gonna uh, trash our lungs and smash our lower backs. So let's get going and um, put us through this workout. Are you enjoying the video so far? Are you finding it helpful? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we come out with more of this free content. And now let's get back to the video. All right, there you have it. Uh, Luke and I were just put through the legless workout, you know, by Jedediah. I gotta tell you, when I first started it, I thought it was gonna be um, not too bad. And, and the first set of sandbags was kind of easy and it all went downhill from there. And oh my gosh, um, I was not even hitting 12 calories um, after about my first um, four sets on the rower, I was hitting nines and tens and I cannot believe Jedediah he was doing 12s in his workout and his imam was, I think you said 30? Yeah, 30. Oh my gosh, um, what a stud. Um, I feel like an old man, I guess I am. <laughs> Luke smashed it. Anyways, if you guys got any questions or comments, please leave it down in the comment section below. Um, Jed would love to answer your um, questions and comments. Um, and don't forget, and so would I. I mean, we learn from you just like you learn from us. And I'm sure um, Jed and I can learn something, I can learn something. We would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, go follow him on uh, YouTube and Instagram. We're gonna put the links down below where you can you know, catch his stuff, where you can follow him and um, see how he's doing in the world competing internationally. It's kind of fun to watch. So um, go check out Luke's channel too. Um, you'll see some content he's posting on real estate um, information and fitness stuff. So thanks for being here, right here on Paint Live TV for another Fitness Friday. We'll see you next time. Ow.